Today I would be recording the unpacking of the Audroid XU4 uh, development board which has been recently released as of July 2015. Um, I have just received the box so I'd go ahead and unpack it. So this is the packing list which has come with the board. Uh, Apart from the board, a lot of other accessories are, have also come, which includes the Ethernet cable, the HDMI cable, um, the storage, and uh, this is probably the power adapter. Yeah, this is the power adapter which comes with the board. Uh, a transparent case for the board interestingly this case has been divided into the top and the bottom parts and uh, each can be ordered uh, for a different color so I guess there is transparent blue black and a few other colors so the top and the bottom can be mixed and matched and this is actually the packet for the XU4 Android board it's quite compact so let's open it up so that's it this is the board uh, the XU4 board is uh, uses the Samsung Exynos 5244 processor which is same as the XU3 uh, so basically the OS image and applications that are present for XU3 should just work as it is for XU4 also uh, just that uh, this is a less expensive board and uh, a more compact board than the previous revision Mm, so we have the Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet port and uh, USB 2.0 uh, We have the power connector, HDMI, uh, storage and uh, some GPIO ports and uh, the USB 3.0 ports mm, So yeah and uh, and a few other connectors uh, it looks actually quite compact uh, apart from that uh, there is also the USB audio connector for uh, audio out as well as mic uh, there is no separate port available on the board for for audio uh, this is the Wi-Fi adapter with the antenna for the board so quite a bit quite a bit of accessories and that's all the box is empty now so the next thing to do probably would be to fix all these together and try to get the board running so uh, right now the Odroid board has been connected uh, connected up totally it is uh, connected to a keyboard and a mouse and it is also connected to a VU display which is also from Odroid which I had ordered earlier uh, this display is actually a touchscreen monitor and uh, it supports full HD resolution uh, the USB cable for for that is uh, for the touch screen is also connected back to the to the board and uh, so uh, after booting up the prompt for login has come as well as uh, it, it this this is the Ubuntu release uh which has come with the board uh, on the emmc chip so you can already see it shows up the 
uh, Wi-Fi networks available so now I have logged into the session uh, it didn't ask for a password so I believe it's the default password is blank uh, and I've also set up the Wi-Fi and uh, this is the you name command which is running um, so that's it it's it's pretty much set up and all ready to be used and experimented with